hi friends welcome to azure video tutorials this video i am going to explain you about how to create integration runtimes for local servers that's called self-hosted servers if you have if you want to connect your any self-hosted servers like on-premises databases or flat files if you want to connect and if you want to transfer data from their servers to, to your azure cloud we can use runtime integrations type called self-hosted so in this process i'm going to explain you how to create a runtime integrations for self-hosted and how to connect a self-hosted service so go to connections in azure data factory version 2 if you click on connections there you can find runtime integrations this call click on new and select a perform data movement and dispatch activities to external computes click on this then continue and here you can find the runtime integration type called self-hosted so this is for azure this is for self-hosted select this click on continue and uh, name user defined name runtime integration and uh, you can click on create so while creating here you can see there is an option you will get this is a manual setup and express setup in manual setup you can download the software and install into your local server where you want to connect a database or flat files that server and copy this key and use that key so click on download it will be routed to microsoft website where you can download the software here you can see this click on download and select latest version and click on download so this is available around 320 mb file size so i have already downloaded it so i'm going to show you how to install this this is in my download location So once you download this software, you can just install this. It's a wizard based. And uh, see here, click on next. Accept terms and conditions. Install. So whatever you have copied this key, we need to use there. So once you install this, that icon you will be getting in your, your desktop. Here you will get icons like Bluetooth and other icons you have, right? Like this new runtime integration icon you will be getting once you install this. Wait a few more seconds. So it's completed. Click on finish. So, as I told, you'll be getting icon this. Just copy this key, whichever you have uh, paste here, and uh, register. So, I click on register. And uh, this is a node, current node, which is my current system name. And if you want to enable a remote access from internet, you can enable this. Click on finish. And I can select a proxy. Proxy certificate. And it is validating the settings.
so the certificate whatever it is selected we need to will verify that install certificate for current user or local machine still it's not So install actually. So now it is registering. So that whatever your uh, selected that key and a proxy only these two things we need to do in this software in runtime uh, self-hosted integration uh, runtime so once this done then here wait few more minutes So wait for a few uh, minutes so it will take uh, some time to enable this. You can stop this and I can restart it again. I'm starting service again so let's see this so it is trying to connect the cloud service here you can see the status connecting to cloud service Azure data factory version 2 so here also you can refresh this is our it is trying to connect it may take a few minutes so here you can refresh now you can see connect to cloud service here you can refresh yeah now it is running so like this we can go for creating self-hosted runtime integrations in your local or on-premises desktops or on-premises servers so that software the services here you can see this here you can see the link that icon if you click on that icon it will be displayed window under those settings and everything you can see here the process settings diagnostics an update okay so like this we can go for creating self-hosted integration runtimes in azure data factory version 2 so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much